Uh, ahead of tomorrow's threat, Minnesota's governor just got a first-hand look at the widespread damage done by last week's storms. High winds destroyed farms, toppled trees, and ripped apart roofs in towns like Benson in Swift County. WCCO's Caroline Cummings spoke with residents who remain grateful despite all that they have lost. We were in town helping our son, and we got the alert that 100 mile an hour winds were coming. Rhonda and Rick Flower returned to their 800 acre farm last Thursday. And the auto repair shop that once stood here was completely gone. We turned up the driveway and seen the shop was down, and it was just kind of devastating, but it's. Like I said, we were fortunate. They're counting their blessings, even though the damage they sustained from severe winds tore up their property, leaving it a shell of what it once was. This was our business. This was our livelihood. We now start over and we'll come out stronger when we get there. Farm bins ripped up where they stored farm equipment decimated. But for Rhonda, the two she values above all, her husband and son, are safe. For me, it was these two. They would have been in the shop working that night on a piece of farm equipment, and I probably would be planning a funeral. Governor Tim Walls heard from local leaders in the greater community about what they're seeing and hearing on the ground. He said the state is in a good position to help. We have lives impacted in a very uh, significant way. Now begins assessing the scope of the damage to tap into federal resources. Director of Minnesota Homeland Security and Emergency Management Joe Kelly says be sure to document everything, the damage and the costs, and let your local emergency managers know. Do the right things. Pay, pay the expenses and then bring it, uh, you know, bring it to us and to FEMA for, for reimbursement. There'll be money to make you whole and to re restore your accounts on the, on the backside. Kelly says FEMA will touch down in Minnesota starting next week to survey damage in 49 counties and five tribal nations, not only from the storms last week, but also severe flooding in late April. And that process is a key step to getting financial resources. In Benson, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Next weather is our promise to help you prepare day or night, rain or shine. So tune to WCCO and CBS News Minnesota. Always know what is coming next as soon as we do.